So when I uh, digitize old tapes as I would yank them out of boxes, I search YouTube to see what's on the tapes, if it's up on YouTube, and was shocked to see that this Bob Weir clip from a Linda LRB birthday special, April 22nd, 1990, was sort of on YouTube. And about half the clip, and it looked like someone grabbed a camcorder and videoed their television. Sort of like how people grab their phones now and record television. It much more common than doing it the old school way. Yeah, you got a camcorder laying around with no VCR. Yeah, it might have been an Earth Day kind of thing, you know, being an echo and green, you know. I, I'm only going to have a device that records my own stuff, except when something goes on TV. Tonight, celebrities and the environmental movement. is against Earth Day, and nobody seems more for it than celebrities. In the age of Live Aid and Band Aid, it will not surprise most people that rock and roll has come on strong for saving the world. And it should, should, whoa, it should surprise nobody that one of the most vocal groups in this movement is that oldest established permanent floating rock band in America, the Grateful Dead. Lead guitarist Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead played in San Francisco today and is with us tonight live. You there, Bob? You bet. Bob, what's the connection between rock and roll and Earth Day? Well, I guess it was a big party and music goes well at parties. And so that's the connection as far as I can see. And, and that plus a lot of musicians have free time and a lot of them feel pretty much obliged to kick back to, uh, to society in general. And so this is one good way to do that. Do you think that and I have nothing against, as you know, I have nothing against rock and roll. I like it. Can rock and roll, can, can celebrities in general, what can they accomplish in a movement like this? Well, I guess, I guess we can bring our fans um, into the fold, into the environmental movement. And also we can, we can lend a sort of a, a, a fun atmosphere to, to what's going on, because it should be fun if we're going to get a lot of people involved. That's sort of an old-fashioned notion from the 60s and 70s, isn't it? We can change the world and it can be fun at the same time? Should be. I, I'm into it for fun and also for saving the world as well. The Grateful Dead have a couple of issues that they are particularly interested in. Is that not so? Uh, particular issues. Um, one, we're uh, committed to stopping the destruction of the rainforests. And we've been, we've been working on, on that front uh, in a number of areas, we, we did a, a concert, a benefit concert a while back to benefit Greenpeace, Rainforest Action Network, and Cultural Survival, three organizations who, who work to, to help rainforest people or just to stop the destruction of the rainforest. Also, uh, we're beginning to become uh, committed to saving our San Francisco Bay. What about the CD boxes? Oh, and the CD boxes, that's right. Tell me about that. Well, okay, you, you buy a CD and it's uh, a little thing and it comes in a great big box and that's, to our way of thinking, a, a needless waste of paper and plastic and all that kind of stuff. We could, we could package them in, in much, smaller, um, much smaller containers and, and be a lot less wasteful, a lot less wasteful. And uh, it, it occurs to me that we should probably be thinking about doing that all across the board, but here's a place where we can start. I thank you for your comments on Earth Day you bet. and for your music. <laughs> okay. When we come back, a look ahead from those who care the most. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. There's further patronage information in the video descriptions below. Thanks for all the support and making the channel grow.